Good morning, Hub Heroes. I'm Eduardo. I'm your electrical technician. So I'm going to be demonstrating a couple of things today. Uh, it's going to be upgraded receptacles. These are the most requested by all the customers that we have. The first one here is a USB integrated outlet here. So I'll be demonstrating an in-depth tutorial how to install one of these. And also I'm going to install is a GFCI night light. So that way you don't have those night lights plugged in. It's already integrated and it'll be working whenever you need it. Okay, so I'll be showing a more in-depth tutorial for both devices. So these are some of the tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need a plug tester here, a Phillips tip screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a wire cutter, wire strippers, electrical tape, doesn't matter the color. And you don't wanna use your Phillips screwdriver. We have an impact drill here with a Phillips tip that you can use. So first step before installing these receptacles, just wanna make it safe. So we're gonna have our tester here. We're gonna check the voltages here and it should be on your standard receptacle. So we have the green light indicating that the receptacle is on. So now we're gonna go to our breaker box. You might have a sub panel inside the house or you might have a main panel. Those are usually outside of the home. So we wanna find that circuit first, shut it off, and then we'll test again if the voltage is off. We're here, this is a sub panel. Some of you guys have a main panel, which is the one with the meter. And here at this location, we have a sub panel. We already identified which breaker it is, it's number nine. So we're gonna shut off. If you don't have it labeled, I would suggest having another person inside the house and you shut off one by one breaker until you guys find that circuit. So I'm gonna shut that breaker off right here. And now we're gonna go test the receptacle. All right, so after you shut off that breaker, you wanna make sure that the power is shut off. So we're gonna get our plug tester. We're gonna plug it in just to verify. So yeah, so we have no light on indicating the power is shut off. So now we're, what we're gonna do is gonna have a flathead screwdriver here and we're gonna take off these four screws here from this cover plate. So this is a two gang box, which has two receptacles. So we're gonna take off all four screws. So now we took the cover plate, we're gonna grab a drill, take off these other four screws, two screws per receptacle. You can use a drill or you can use your standard Phillips and take them off. Pull the receptacle out, just like that. Sometimes you'll have electrical tape, just like that. Remove that electrical tape right around. And I usually cut off the wire because they already have a loop. Some of the receptacles don't require the loop, so you can just cut it off. And you want to start off with your black wire here. Take that out. Put over to the side. Just for an extra safety step, I'll grab a wire nut here. Cap off the hot wire, which is this black one here. So you put the wire nut there, just leave it to the side. Now we're gonna go to the white wire. Same thing. You're gonna cut it here at the end. And then the last one is your ground. And you're gonna repeat the same thing over to the other side. I'll put these wires to the side. You know, keep them together. That's, that's one pair there. So this is one pair and this is the other one. So now we're gonna start off with the integrated Nightlight GFCI. And this is your GFCI with the integrated nightlight. You see the on the both sides here have the little nightlight. So first off with this one, so you have your line and your load. You can read here, that's the line right there. So that's where you wanna put in your wires. This is just in case you have something else that's being fed by the GFCI. But if you don't, you just have one set of wires to the left side, all you need is the line side. So we're gonna start off with the ground wire. So this is your ground wire here the bare copper here. We're gonna go into the green screw. So this one, you don't have to pre-twist it. You just put it right in there. You grab your drill. And then just your standard filler just to make sure it's nice and tight. Give it a little tug, and that's good. The white wire that we cut back, we're gonna get some wire strippers. And we're gonna strip the wire back just a little bit, about half an inch, just like that. And then we're gonna go into 
if you have it facing towards you, always the left side. So left side is where your white wire, which is the neutral wire. So you're gonna just slide it right in here. And then we're gonna install the black wire, which is the hot wire. Same thing, remove the wire net. Get your wire strippers, about half an inch. Loosen up this, we'll call it the, the hot side. You're gonna squeeze in, make sure all the copper's in there. And then we're gonna tighten them. Now it's nice and tight. Give it a tug, all three, back, back, and perfect. And then we take this extra step and putting electrical tape around it, just so it could be an extra safety measure. And then you're gonna put your wires back, tuck them in. So I'm not gonna put the receptacle all the way in because I'm still gonna install the USB integrated receptacle, which is this one here. So it's gonna be the same process. We're gonna go with the ground screw first. So you always wanna do the ground. This one's a little bit different. The grounds here is on, at the bottom on the left side here. And this one, we are gonna to have to do that little loop. So for that little loop, you're gonna have some needle nose, just like this. And you're gonna grab the end of the bare copper just to the, towards the end and then just give it a little twist and you get that little hook. So you're gonna loosen up the green screw and you're gonna put that ground right in there. Just like that. So now that it's right in there, get your Phillips and just hand tighten that. So now it's right on there. So this one's a little bit different. I'll have both screws on the side. Right behind it, I'll actually say white wire and then your hot wire, which is, is gonna be your neutral. So make sure you put your white wire where it has the white and your hot wire where it has the high. And we're gonna slide it right in there. Same thing, a little tuck every time. Now we're gonna go to the hot wire, strip that back. Install it right in there. Nice and tight. A little pull. And there you go. Same thing, we're gonna put a little bit of tape around it just to protect the screw from touching any of the metal parts. And you're gonna just slide the wire back, make sure it's not getting stuck anywhere. Put the both screws inside. Now we can install the cover plate. Just like that, slide it on there. And now you're ready to put those four screws back on. And there you have it. So you have your Nightlight integrated GFCI and you have your USB integrated tamper resistant receptacles. So we're after you turn your breaker back on, let's make sure, let's test the, G, the receptacles to make sure they're working. So you're gonna use your plug tester one more time, plug it in, got that green light, that means it's working. Like the previous video, we press that test button shuts it off, reset it just like that. And then we're gonna go over to the USB integrated outlet, make sure that's working. We should get the green light. And there's the green light indicating it's working. So it's ready to go. For any more electrical, HVAC, or plumbing videos, give us a like, give us a follow, and we'll have many more videos for you guys.